It's Mr. Burley at York Catholic District School Board. This is the second tutorial in this series where we're doing this cute little cottage layout. This is the cottage here. Um, today, the, in the last video, in the first video, we created the outer walls, six inches thick. We did a cutout for the swinging door, which was three foot four inches. Uh, we did the glazing here. I can't remember the exact size. Uh, and then you continued as the student, you did this glazing here, this glazing here, this glazing here, and this glazing here, and one in the water closet. You took some liberties with sizes, just guessing, um, looking at the size of this three feet here. This looks almost double. Maybe we did it six feet. Probably that's what it was. And then I'm guessing this was three feet, and then this was probably one and a half feet. It doesn't really matter exactly what size you did it. Today, what my expectation is, we're going to draw the inner, finish the inner walls by putting hatching in it, uh, and then we're going to do the ex in, sorry the outer walls, and then we're going to do the interior walls. And so, how we're going to do that? Again, this is with the web version. First thing I want to do here is I want to. This is where you were. We are going to select I'm up here. Right click. Sorry. Create new, and we're going to call it hatching. This I'm going to choose yellow for hatching, and I want to make it current. So when you select it like that, it means it's you're, you're drawing on that layer. So we come down to the hatch here. Now, hatching may work perfectly. It may not. If there's any little gaps, if you scroll in, if there's any little gaps here, say for argument's sake you didn't quite join these two lines, then it won't hatch it. What it will do is it'll come up, and what may happen for with us now, it'll come up and it'll show you where your problems are and what you have to fix. Sometimes, for say there's a little piece sticking at the end here and it won't let you hatch it. But it, typically in this program, what I've found in this web-based version is it will come and it'll highlight where the areas are that you have to fix. It has to be a complete closed boundary in, for, in, order, in order for it to hatch. So you click the hatch tool, and up comes a whole bunch of different options. We're going to click properties. We're going to click user defined, and it's already set to 45, but I'm going to set 45 degrees, enter. And I selected six inches earlier because if I did it any smaller than six inches, actually we can go four inches maybe, four inches, any smaller, and it just it's the distance between the lines, and it just looks like a solid line. So four, enter. Let's see what that looks like. Double hatch it. No, I'm not going to double hatch it. Enter. And now you have to tell it where you want to do that. So you just click in here like that. And once you see I kind of jumped on the screen, but you just hit the enter key and it'll hatch the area. And that looks pretty good. The four inches looks pretty good. Now, sometimes it can be a little glitchy. Sometimes you might have to do it twice. Click in here and enter. See right there, I didn't do it. So what I need to do again, call up the hatch tool. This is hatch tool, properties, user defined, yes, leave it a four, no, and then we're going to select where we wanted to do it. So you're pro enter. Now you're going to have to do it on several. You've got glazing all the way around, so that little process may taken you may have taken you a little bit longer. Okay, so now we're going to do some interior walls. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to create a new layer. Incidentally, I'd like you to the person watching this video, the, the students watching this video right now. I'd like you to watch. This is the web-based version in the same directory or in the same location. You'll see the non web-based version. I'd like you to watch a few minutes of that simply because I bring up a really complicated drawing in AutoCAD and I show you how we toggle layers off and on. There's a little bit of information there that I'd like you to have going forward. So if you pause this video or you want to watch it at the end, that's fine too. But I'd like you to watch that. So we're doing interior walls. I'm going to turn the interior walls. I'm going to make them yellow. I don't know why, but I am. Now I'm going to select it to make sure we're working on the interior walls. If you select here, I'm working on the hatching. If I select here, I'm working on interior walls. If you want to turn things off and on, watch. I can turn the hatching off, simplify things, or I can turn the hatching back on. But I'm on interior walls right now. So I'm going to come down here. And what I was going to do in the regular AutoCAD, I select this and I offset that dimension. You can't do that for some reason in the web, or at least I haven't been able to figure out how, but it offsets the whole entire thing. So we have to do a little tiny different strategy. Not a big deal. So, um, Again, yeah, this wasn't quite right. I should That should have been six feet wide. Hopefully, you did a better job than I did. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and draw the first little uh, wall. So if you look here, you'll see this is 20 feet overall, but it gives you the interior dimensions. This is 
typical if you're looking at if you're a purchaser if you're going to purchase a possible house and you go into the sales center and you look at all their brochures this is the kind of dimensions you're going to see overall outside dimensions and you're going to see overall size of the rooms this is in both metric and imperial so you can see this is imperial and this is metric for whatever reason canada's double metric and imperial both we're supposed to be metric but the reality is in the architectural world, uh, when you're talking about buying homes and buying floor plans and buying hardwood floors and stuff, it typically goes by square foot. And most contractors will also talk square feet. So let's continue in that tradition. We'll do square feet. So if you see this room here is 23 feet wide this way. Now, it's actually 24 feet wide on the outside. But because we took six inches up here and six inches up here, that gave us 23 feet. So 23 feet of living space inside by 10 foot, four inches. So from this line here to this line here, you can see it's 10 foot, four inches. So we'll go in and do that 10 foot, four inches. Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do, I'm making sure I'm on the interior walls. Yes, I am. Select this line tool. I'm going to grab this corner here and I'm going to walk up here. I'm going to go 10 foot, four inches tab and I want it 90 degrees 90 enter I'm going to delete that in a few minutes right now this is just a construction line now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a line in from here and again AutoCAD many different strategies you can play with, with your own strategy and see if you, there's a, find, you find a different way I want to come in and join that right there okay so find tool click there I'm going to walk across here and I want to I'm just going to go anywhere right now I'm going to I want it to be perfect so I'm going to go to this dimension I'm not going to worry about the dimension it can be way over here way back here this is a construction line for for the moment I'm going to tab it and I'm going to make it zero degrees and disappeared not sure why do, do, do. come back over here tab enter and it's still am I on the wrong one no nope. why is it disappearing on me I'm not sure You find some glitches in this. Bear with me. Well, let's just try it like this. There. Okay. I just clicked it. I just made sure it was zero and clicked it. Now I'm going to come back in. I'm going to go to the modify tool. I'm going to trim some stuff off. I want to trim this off right to here, to this wall here. And then I want to delete this because I don't need him. And that's the inside of the wall. Now I don't need this guy anymore either. So I'm going to delete him. Now I have the inside of that wall, which is 10 foot, four inches. Interior walls are typically four inches thick. So we're gonna do the offset command. We're gonna click on this guy here and we're gonna walk over this way. We're gonna go four inches, enter. So we got our four inch wall. And now we're going to close that in. So we're gonna go back into the draw tool and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna click here and click here. And now I've got my interior wall done on one side. Now I wanna draw the exactly the same thing on the other side, the interior wall. I'm, I'm treating this like it's AutoCAD. I was trying to scroll across. You can see the big wide opening here. So whatever that dimension is turned out to be, let's have a look and see what it is. So we're going to go to annotate. We're going to dimension this. I'm just curious as to what that size right there is. Nine foot. So we can do a couple different things. We can make it the exact same size, which is the same size as this door, which is it really? It is kind of. I think it's a little bit bigger. We can we can we can play with that afterwards. Let's uh, let's try the mirror command and see how that works. Uh, so we got mirror. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to mirror that that mirror. I'm going to mirror this guy here. This guy here. This guy here. Do I have to control the control key down? No. Maybe I just do that. No. And I'm going to. Mirror it across a plane. Let's see if it works. Mirror selected objects. Okay, well, let's try mirroring that. Enter and specify the point. I want to do the midpoint right there. And midpoint of here, I think. I'm not going to do it that way. I don't know that trick just yet. I do. I know it on regular AutoCAD. This AutoCAD, I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to create a line. from here up to here if I grab that guy and walk this way it should grab the same 
see there, now it knows where I want to do it. I want to take it right over until it's 90 degrees. It's at 90 now, so I'm going to click 90. And I'm going to use that as a construction line for the moment. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to draw this line from here over this way. And I want to make sure he's at 180. And, you know, it pretty much assumes I do that. And then I'm going to come back here and modify. We're going to do some cutting here in a second. So uh, offset, we're going to offset this guy here four inches. Okay. Now I'm going to delete this. I don't need that. I'm going to close that in, gap in at the end. I'm actually going to fix the gap in a second, but I'm going to close it like that. I'm going to go back to the modify tool. And I'm going to trim off this stuff that we don't need. We don't need him, and we don't need this one. And we're going to come back out here, and we're going to delete this guy here. And we're going to delete this guy here. And I want to make this opening bigger. Um, I'm thinking, I'm going to look at the drawing, and I'm I'm seeing if this is three feet from there to there, this is probably a good five feet. We can actually tell here, right? Eight foot. That would be eight foot four by eight feet. So this is eight foot four here plus another four inches. So I'm going to say let's make this maybe five feet, the opening, five feet. So to make it five feet, I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to go if it's – Eight feet out this way, eight foot four. Let's pause for a second. I'm gonna do something. So, okay. So back now. What I wanted to, to do is I wanted to I wanted to figure out what the exact sizes of these are supposed to be. So I'm hitting the escape key. I'm gonna go into here for a second. I I told you I was taking some liberties, and we are, but I, I, I want this to end up in the right spot because we're going to put this water closet in, and we're going to need a door here and so on and down the road. So I want to make sure it's done properly. So the dimension from here to here, I wasn't quite sure what it is. So what I can do is figure out the scale with this with ratio proportion. So I know that from there to there is 8 feet. So if I go 8 feet, and I always like to identify what DWG, I'm going to say DWG or Okay, and then what the actual, so it's actually, it's eight feet actual. And then on, so on the drawing, on the drawing, if I take a scale and just, I'm just going to roughly measure this um, right on my computer screen. As long as I don't zoom in and out, it should be fine. And I'm going to take a scale and I, it looks like it's 25 millimeters, maybe 26 millimeters. We'll put 25, 25 millimeters. So we know this is feet up here and this is millimeters down here. Because and it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing ratio, and so this is actually the DWG. Now I want to know what this opening is here, so I take what I do know with that opening, and I'm taking the scale and measuring that, and it looks roughly 15, or maybe let's call it. I think it's 16 millimeters. So on the on the on the drawing, it says 16 millimeters. So up here would be X. So this would equal this times this divided by this enter and it says there you go it's, that's why i kind of figured around five foot twelve so i'm going to back up for a second i might show you this this year um, whenever i was a designer i always had an excel spreadsheet open in the background initially i used to do it all in pen and paper and and whatnot and uh one one that one of those guys that used to work with me for me actually he he shut here we go mr nichols can you please give a call on extension 2003. He used to do this and I copied it suit. So what it's nice, it's just nice to have it in the background as an Excel spreadsheet because it's like a giant calculator, right? So anyway, eight, I measured eight or it's eight feet right here. So that's the actual room. And then we here we have 25 millimeters because I measured it with 25 millimeters, which is on the drawing. And then I wanted to know what the dimension was across here and I measured it, it was 16 millimeters. So I solved for X here, right ratio proportion. This equals this times this divided by that. And it's nice in Excel, you can actually do it. Hit equals sign, click this guy, shift key down, star, which means times, times this, backslash divided by this, enter, and it says five foot twelve. So we'll make that five foot twelve. So right now it's not five foot twelve and it doesn't really matter what it is. I'm gonna draw a line here, create a line from the midpoint, just a construction line, down like this. 
I want it to be 90 degrees exactly, so 90. Then I'm going to use Mr. Offset Tool here, and I'm going to offset that half of the dimension. So we want, what do, we, what do we want? Five feet, so we want two point, nope, 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 I'm thinking decimal. Two feet. Uh, Two foot six, six inches. Two feet six inches. There you go. And now, if I measure it, just to make sure we're right, which it should be perfectly fine, from there. Two foot six. Two foot six. Two and two is four. Two sixes are twelve. That's five. It's perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to delete this. So I don't need him anymore. And I'm going to go back to the modify commands, and I'm going to trim this off here and here. And I'm going to trim him off here and here. And I'm going to trim him off here, here. And I'm going to trim that there, there. And now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to delete this guy. And delete this guy. That's my old home. So now you can see I have created the, the opening, which is five feet. Again, I was taking liberties, like I said before. You can do it. If you're fussier, you can do that. With ratio proportion, it works quite nice, especially on a drawing like that that's scaled. It's quite easy to do that. Um, so what I'd like you to do is continue with the interior walls. Now, if you look at the drawing, you'll see, um, I believe this is a garbage can. So you can figure out how far out that is, how big around the garbage can is, how far out. You can see the little door swinging there. I don't know what that is, a couple of feet play with it if it looks too big again you can use the ratio you can take a scale and measure it and, and figure it out that way uh, by all means now these walls here um, are done but there's the inside water closet wall now you can see it comes from here and then there's a wall goes around here and around here and around here and this cross here means that's the drain in the center that's the shower so you'll draw a four four inch wall down like this it'll jog out and around this guy this, I believe, is a closet. It doesn't look deep enough to be a closet, but that's quite likely what it is. So in here, so this is a four inch down here. Figure out how far it is from here over to here. Draw this around, draw this around. Same, as thing, same thing here. You know from there across is eight feet. You know that's the dimension. You also know from here across there is eight feet. So you can start drawing these ones here and then figure out how far that goes in. Um, so eight feet across. Draw a line, do a line parallel to that one, four inches down. Figure out how far down that is, how big, how big, how much room do you need for a toilet, and then draw that around. Okay, so again, you can take some liberties. I'd like it to look somewhat professional, uh, but if you want to take a scale and do the ratio like I did, all I did is left the sizes here, and you can write on your Excel spreadsheet, or you can just do it on a piece of paper. It makes it more comfortable. Measure this distance from, say, from here to here. Figure out how far that is. Put it, put it, so you're looking for actual at this point. So if you're working in millimeters, so you measure that in millimeters and, and then calculate it, figure out how far it should be. Okay. So again, we're crossing back and forth between millimeters and inches. It doesn't make any difference when you're doing just ratio like this. Okay. So you as a student, what I like to see, finish this up. We should have, when we come back, we should have all the glazing in place. We should have hatched walls. We should have interior walls. The hatching should be on a different layer than the interior walls. The interior wall should be a different layer than, than the exterior walls.